Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today we're going to take a look at the AVA app, which is a live captioning app that lets a whole group of folks be able to communicate back and forth with captions. And so Tracy um, is going to take a look at that for us today. Hi, my name is Tracy Castillo and I'm with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. This is your tech tip. Have you ever been in a conversation with a deaf person or a hard of hearing person and didn't know if your words were getting clear to them? Well, AVA is the answer. AVA is a live captioning app that allows an individual that is suffering from deafness or hard of hearing to allow them to enter a conversation. This is really neat, people. I wanted to show you this because I learned about it at a deaf and hard of hearing conference I went to, and I found it really simple to put on my phone, and I found it really great to use. Uh, this is a free app. I found it at the Windows App Store. The individual that showed me the application had it on an Android phone, so I know that they're both available on both of those two platforms. So Ava is free to download. They do have a paid version. As you can see, I am in a trial version and I've used 16 minutes of my allowed time. I've talked to several different people that have used Ava and they tell me that they've not had to purchase the paid version because they don't use all of the time that is allowed in the free version. So let's get into it. When I first downloaded Ava onto my telephone, the man that I downloaded it showed me a QR and we scanned it and boom, I was into his conversation. And it was him and myself that were talking. Um, so there in the corner, as you can see, I, these are all my contacts on my phone, but they also have a QR um, where I can actually scan someone's QR or I can add a, you know, or I can have someone scan my QR. So you see your contacts, you see the individuals in your contacts that have AVA, and then you can ask those people to have a conversation with you. So if I want to just start a conversation with someone, I would type or I would press start captioning. Now, mind you, I've noticed this is really fast. So I'm gonna hit start captioning. And I'm gonna just start talking. And as I'm talking, it's captioning what I'm saying. Not completely perfect, but it does pick it up and change things around. And this is what was happening when I was at this deaf and hard of hearing conference. And I was really impressed that everything I was talking to this man was showing up in the screen. And then when he would come back and talk to me, all his words would be in red. So there was two colors on the screen. There was my letters, the words were blue, and there was his words, which were red. So now um, I would continue to talk to them and if we want we can add another person into our conversation. So if you had a group of people that were speaking you could all join into the conversation and a person that was deaf or hard of hearing would be able to follow along in the conversation and I thought wow this is pretty neat. My friend and I when we have conversations together we went through a lot of paper or we tried dry erase boards and boogie boards and I think that if I would have known about Ava then like I do now I would have most definitely used this application. So I'm telling you that this application was simple to put onto my phone. It does not have any adware. I haven't had any apps pop up from my phone from using it. It's a pretty reliable app and as you can see, it is catching up most of what I'm saying. I haven't read along with it, but um, I'm sure it's doing a pretty good job. Um, so this was my tip tip for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks. So that's our tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.